beautiful tomatoes and juicy cucumbers are coming straight out of local gardens right now. And I've been making this salad that I want to share with you tonight. You know, cucumbers are full of moisture, right? So when you put them into a salad, the liquid is going to start coming out of the cucumber. And depending on what you're making, you could have like just a juicy mess and you don't want that. So one thing I like to do when I'm making a salad with cucumbers and I'm mixing it with other ingredients is to slice up my cucumber, sprinkle it with a little salt, and then just set it aside in the refrigerator for, I don't know, these were in for probably two hours. You could keep it all day or as little as 20 minutes if you want. But the longer you can let it set with the salt, the more moisture will come out of the cucumbers. So I'm just going to show you how much I've got just a little bit of cucumbers in here and I'm gonna pour it into my colander so you can see the liquid that has come out of the cucumbers. So I'm just going to drain those a little bit. And then I like to put them on some, a clean towel or some paper towels just to dry them off a little bit. Just pat them dry. Once you've patted them dry, they're ready to use. So I'm just going to put these into my dish. Now to these cucumbers, I'm also going to add some cherry tomatoes from the garden. I've cut them in half. I'll add them to the cucumbers. And then I'm going to drizzle them with some Italian vinaigrette. This is some that I've made. Use your favorite. And be a little bit generous because you want them to be able to marinate a little bit in this dressing. And ideally, you'd be able to give this some time in the refrigerator to marinate. But right now, I'm going to show you how I finish this off. I like to take some chive cream cheese and just put tiny little dollops over the top of the salad. I like to finish it off with just a little sprig of some fresh basil. This is delicious served with some slices of garlic toast or some crusty bread, or even as a salad, just on some greens, on some fresh greens. It's really delicious that way too. So I think this might become one of your new go-to summer recipes. I'm Sue Doden, sharing good food for Good Life 365.